نعم دكتور سمعت خلصنا البليدنج السرز لو لو ايه لو ما خلصنا ايه خلينا البليدنج خلينا البليدنج وصلنا لو خلصنا خلصنا دكتور وصلنا للسلايد نعم ستريس انسريشن وصلنا سلايد 101 يا انسري شنو هي؟ ستريس انسريشن سلايد 101 مو؟ اي اي نعم ستريس انسريشن نعم اوكي ان ذا موست كومن ذا موست كومن Cause of bleeding of upper GI bleeding, which present as a hematemesis amnalina, is the duodenal or gastric ulcer, and and we discussed that. The second common cause is the stress ulceration. This commonly occur in patient following major injury, illness, or burn, head injuries. All these injuries or stress make the gastric mucosa vulnerable for ischemia. And ischemia then will resist, uh, cannot resist the acid digestion of the, of the gastric mucosa. Then small superficial ulcer will develop in the gastric mucosa and duodenal mucosa, resulting in bleeding from these sites. This is called stress ulceration. Uh, the condition is preventable. And those those patients by giving them those those patients who are more susceptible for this stress ulceration, who can now those patients, those patients with head injury, severe trauma, multiple injuries, major surgery, patient who admitted to the intensive care units, patient with 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 uh, extensive burns, those patients have <coughs> more susceptibility to develop these. Ulceration, stress ulceration, and subsequent bleeding. Those patients should be given should be given as a prophylactic measure in order to prevent this sequelae. Because once this sequelae occur, the uh, treatment may be very difficult, very difficult to stop the bleeding. But there are several pre preventable, uh, preventive measures we can uh, uh, apply in this patient by giving them intravenous H2 blockers, and uh, uh, sacralphate, sacralphate. We infuse sacralphate through nasal tube, which act as a, a barrier against acid digestion of the gastric mucosa. Gastric erosion or erosive gastric, a variety of causes, especially in an steroid and anti-inflammatory drug. Fortunately, most of the bleeding settles spontaneously, but when it does not, it can be a major problem to treat. Nepsis stress ulceration. In general terms, although there is difficult diffuse erosive gastritis, there is one or more specific lesion that causes this, this significant bleeding. Uh, endoscopic surgery is uh, the preferable uh, mode or method of diagnosis and subsequent treatment. The other cause of upper GI bleeding is the Mallory with tear or Mallory with ulcer. This is described as a longitudinal cheer at the gastroesophageal junction, usually induced by repetitive, citrinous, strong action of vomiting, result in tear in the gastric gastroesophageal mucosa. You can marry it, you can say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we are reaching. Then after that, he developed bleeding. Many of such lesions occur and do not cause bleeding. Of course, I had ulcer but without bleeding. When it causes bleeding and causes hematemesis, the lesion may be often missed as it can be difficult to be seen just below the gastrointestinal junction by endoscopy, which is a position which can be difficult to be uh, inspected for the inexperienced endoscopist. Occasionally, this lesion continue to bleed and require surgical treatment. طبعا هو most of the bleeding of Mallory with syndrome يجيك المريض يقول زواعد دم ومن انطي موعد على endoscopy after two days مثلا one or two days the ulcer will heal and cannot be visualized. بس هل history هذا انه repetitive vomiting followed by attack of hematemesis usually not severe usually not severe this uh, uh, this uh, cause of bleeding will not cause severe or uncontrollable hemorrhage.
De La Foy's lesion is one of the uh, uh, occasional and the rare disease that cause uh, uh, upper GI bleeding. It is a guard trick arterial, arteriovenous malformation that has a characteristic histological appearance. The bleeding due to this malformation is one of the most difficult causes of the gastrointestinal bleeding to treat because the lesion is not mucosal. The, uh, the bleeding ooze is described as, a ooze, as an ooze from the uh, a normal or intact mucosa. The lesion itself is covered by normal mucosa and when it's not bleeding, it may be invisible. Yeah, I mean, in foot with endoscope, I have a show of an area of ooze, but if you have bleeding, you show for it. But if not bleeding, it uh, cannot be seen because it is covered by a normal mucosa. It can be seen when bleeding, while bleeding, and all may be visible is the profuse bleeding or oozing coming from an area apparently normal mucosa. هذا ديلي فويز ليجن تشوفون ماكو ألسر بس أكو أريا اللي هي بيها بليدينج بس بس إنتاكت نورمال إنتاكت أو نورمال ميوكوزا the lesion is basically is submucosal so the mucosa is not involved while ooze from the mucosa result from this lesion under the mucosa that the mucosa over the lesion is intact this is called ديلي فويز ليجن other cause of upper GI bleeding are tumors of many kinds, the most common uh, of which is the gastric carcinoma uh, and other uh, uh, tumors, uh, malignant or benign tumors of the stomach, including leomyoma, gas, and lymphoma. Other causes of upper GI bleeding, which is quite important and uh, uh, sometimes <coughs> very, <coughs> very difficult to be treated in such patients, a patient with portal hypertension result that resulted from chronic liver disease. The management of bleeding gastric varices may be very challenging. Fortunately, most of the bleeding from these varices is esophageal, and this is much more amenable to cyclorotherapy, endoscopic therapy of cyclorotherapy, banding, and balloon tamponade. Usually, the bleeding of those patients with esophageal varices sometimes is very, very uh, uh, profuse and result in catastroph catastrophic uh, uh, hemorrhage and the patient might lose, lose uh, 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 more than uh, uh, half of, of his circulating blood volume within a few minutes. So he requires uh, uh, an urgent and uh, rapid treatment in order to restore the circulation followed by endoscopy in order to localize and treat the bleeding site. Hi, you can see the lower esophagus. This is endoscopy. We don't have the stomach. This is the gastroesophageal junction. This is the esophagus. This is all esophagus. And this is the beginning of the gastroesophageal junction. You can see the dilated submucosal veins. This is the one. You can see it, guys. Hi, hi. هاي كلها يسموها اوسفاجيال فاريسز، فاريسز يعني معناها دايليتد تورتشوس فينز ديو تو بورتال هايبرتنشن. ذا اذر كوز اوف بليدنج از اورتو انتريك فيستولا اور اورتو موست كومنلي اورتو دودينال فيستولا يوجوالي ذوس بيشنت هاف هاد ا بريفيوس سيرجري فور فور جرافت فور اورت اورتيك جرافتينج فور uh, uh, abdominal aortic aneurysm, the duodenum usually adhere to this graft and fistula arise between the graft and the duodenum. Here, the bleeding is usually very, very severe and most of the patient will, uh, will die within a few minutes after the presentation. Uh, uh, so this, patient, this is a rare cause of bleeding due to fistula or tract that has been created uh, between the aorta and the duodenum, usually following uh, a grafting for uh, uh, aortic aortic uh, surgery, aortic surgery grafting for aortic surgery, usually for uh, abdominal aortic aneurysm. When we re resect the abdominal aortic aneurysm, we replace this defect with the graft. Uh, there were sometimes the duodenum adhere to the graft and the most of the uh, fistula uh, uh, develop between the graft and the duodenum.
then the bleeding will occur into the GIT and the patient presents with hematemesis and malina. The other complications, middle marginal complications result from peptic ulcer here and either bleeding or perforation in the last lecture and deformity. With deformity, if the duodenal ulcer become scarred and deformed, then it will cause narrowing of the pyloric canal, uh, result in a, a, a syndrome or a condition called gastric outlet obstruction. The two common causes of gastric outlet obstruction are the gastric cancer and pyloric stenosis secondary to peptic ulceration. tumor or gastric tumor, any tumor arise in the pyloric canal or pre-pyloric area sometimes cause obstruction of the gastric outlet. So there are two causes that cause gastric outlet, either benign cause, where it was secondary to long-standing peptic ulceration, or malignant cause uh, due to development of gastric cancer within the pre-pyloric areas of in pyloric, pyloric obstruction. Previously, the uh, the latter uh, who were peptic ulcer in arm was more common. Yani gabal chance you know duodenal ulcer or peptic ulcer very common due to shortage of uh, of uh, of medical drugs of proton pump inhibitors and before the discovery of the H pylori and its treatment, the duodenal ulcer or peptic ulcer was very common and this sequelae was was common uh, common sequelae after the peptic ulceration. Now. With the decrease of the incidence of the peptic ulcerations and the advent of potent medical treatment, the gastric outlet obstruction should be considered as a malignant until proved otherwise, at least in the West. The term pyloric stenosis is normally misnomer because the obstruction is seldom in the pylorus. Commonly, when condition is due to underlying peptic ulcers, the stenosis found in the first part of the dilemma. I'm going to go pyloric obstruction but so a mobile pylorus really this uh, 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 obstruction usually in the first part of the duodenum but it is part of the gastric outlet the most common site for peptic ulceration true pyloric stenosis can occur due to fibrosis around the pyloric channel ulcer however in the recent years the most common cause of gastric outlet obstruction with imagine is malignant cause due to development of gastric cancer and this Condition the metabolic consequences has to be may be somewhat different from those of benign pyloric stenosis because the relative hypochlorhydria found in patient with gastric cancer and when the patient vomits the the, the uh, uh, gold uh, the pathognomonic feature of gastric outlet obstruction who are vomiting and in the stomach is obstructed for any patient, any patient present with repeated vomiting, we have to keep in my own mind sometimes is with a gastric outlet obstruction. And gastric outlet will be a pathognomonic feature of vomiting. Will vomiting have a, a metabolic consequences? In benign gastric outlet obstruction, there will be a long history of peptic ulcer disease. And in history, you either give a history of previous peptic ulcer disease or uh, he does not aware of his previous illness. Nowadays, the most common, the most patient with peptic ulcer symptoms are treated medically, and it is easy to understand why the condition become much less common. And some patients with the pain become unremitting, and pain due to peptic ulcer. When it changes to pyloric obstruction or gastric outlet obstruction, the pain become unremitting. Leno gain a double chance. She still be pain periodicity. It, it, it appear for some uh, time and disappear for uh, another time due to spontaneous healing of the ulcer. And those patients who, in whom gastric outlet obstruction develop, the pain become unremitting and in other cases may largely disappear. pain. The vomitus is characteristic unpleasant in nature and totally lacking in bile. Yani maku bile, the anodudinum is obstructed. There is no reflux of bile from the duodenum to the stomach. So the the vomitus is lacking by yani bile free vomiting, some non bilious vomiting. 
very often it is possible to recognize recognize food stuff taking several years previously several days previously يقول يعني المريض انا اكلت ذو اليوم صار عندي vomiting والفوميترز هذه كونتين خلينا نقول ايك وانا ما باكل هسه بيض قبل ثلاث ايام ما اكل البيض فاذا معناها هذا اكو element of gastric stasis that prevent those previously taken meal cannot pass to the duodenum. يعني معناها there is an element of gastric stasis. This is due to pyloric obstruction or gastric outlet. The patient commonly complains of losing weight and appear unwell and dehydrated because bad dehydration. There is vomiting and loss of uh, uh, loss, يعني, uh, not taking enough uh, fluid. Malabsorption of fluid. Then, when the examining, when we examine the patient, there will there may be possible to see a distended stomach on abdominal examination, and succussion splash may be audible on sucking uh, on uh, shaking the patient abdomen. Many نعمل مريض نشوف الأبر abdomen شوي distended the stomach منفوخة ومن أخضه من أخض المريض أخض الأبدومن medial يعني left and right راح أسمع صوت سامعين بشتوى شباب شتوى من يعرف شتوى واحد يجاوبني الو الو دكتور اللي خلون بيها لبن وخضونا عافية ويخضوها هاي من تخضها من تخضها تسمع صوتك شون الخض الخض مال مال شتوى شون تشيس انت تشيس هسه تشيس ترسمي وخضها راح تسمع صوت الخضة نفس الشيء هذا The stomach will be filled with the fluid. When we shake the patient, we see, we hear an audible sound called called how is a succussion splash. Succussion splash, which is a characteristic features of gastric outlet obstruction. The metabolic effect of the hygiene on it. We have metabolic consequences. Are the most interesting as the metabolic consequence of benign. Pyloxenosis are unique. يعني شنو يونيك خاصة بي جدا. The vomiting راح نحكيها. شنو لازم تعرفوها. Vomiting of the vomiting of the patient راح يصير. Vomit of شنو hydrochloric acid result in hypochlor hypochloremic alkalosis. ما طول هو lose acid. ماشي يصير عدة consequences. The body the body من يصير loss of acid. شيء يصير عدة alkalosis. وصير عدة شنو بعد. They they have got chloride way ah. يعني they have got هو ال 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 الأسيد شنو H C L. عبارة عن H plus و C L minus. مو صح هو هذا الكلور فإذا هو when when he vomit daily large amount of gastric juice. مو ش راح يفقد H C L. ال H when he lose large amount of H. شو صار عنده الكلوزس. و he lost he lost large amount of cal of chloride. صار عنده hypochloremia. So the picture is of hypochloremic alkalosis. Initially, the sodium and potassium may be relatively normal, but however, as dehydration progresses, more profound metabolic abnormalities arise. The metabolic effect, these are more interesting in metabolic consequences. The vomiting of hydrochloric acid result in hypochloremic alkalosis. Initially, the sodium and potassium, as we said, may be relatively normal. However, there is dehydration progress more profound Metabolic abnormalities arise partly related to the renal dysfunction. Initially, the urine has a low chloride and high bicarbonate content, reflecting the primary metabolic abnormality. This bicarbonate is secreted along with sodium. And خليكم renal renal tubular absorption. عادة تعوض ال negative charge ويا negative charge وال positive charge ويا positive charge. This bicarbonate is exactly how the renal compensation. If them renal compensation, when there is alkalosis, she says renal compensation. The mafrud if but bicarbonate is why. صح. This bicarbonate is excreted along with sodium. احنا من صار sodium ويا البيكربونات مت متوالمات متعشقات. ما طول اكو loss of bicarbonate راح يصير loss of sodium. ليش يصير loss of bicarbonate? يريد يفقد الكلي على مود يعدل الميتابوليك ستيتس مالته الميتابوليك البي اتش يعدل البي اتش رينال كومبنسيشن او كوركشن ما توصل عنده الكالوسيس اذا يريد يفقد بايكربونات حتى يرجع البي اتش للنورمال 
بطول يفقد بقى كربونات هوايه ومتعشق ويا صوديوم So with this time, the patient progressively become hyponatremic due to loss of bicarbonate and sodium, and more pro profoundly dehydrated. When you have sodium, why? خلي بالكم كل ما يفقد sodium بالكتني أكثر sodium شنو ملح من الملح يطلع شيء دروية water. They say under more dehydration. زين من يصير عند dehydration a phase of sodium retention follow and potassium and hydrogen are من يصير عند dehydration إلى محد معين ذاك الوقت الصوديوم فد فد يعني الكترولايت مهم حاول الكدني ترجع الصوديوم وراها ورا ما يصير ديهايدريشن حاول ديوتو ليش من يصير ديهايدريشن ينفرز شنو شنو اي دي اتش نعم الاي دي اتش لا مو الانتي دايرتيك هرمون ثاني شنو رنين انجيوتنسي رنين انجيوتنسي سيستم ماشي فمن يصير اليمنت اوف ديهايدريشن صار ديهايدريشن قوي ذاك الوقت البادي يريد يرجع صوديوم على مود تو كوريكت ديهايدريشن هذا الصوديوم من يرجع على حساب شنو على حساب على حساب البوتاسيوم قلنا من يرجع بوزيتيف تشارج لازم يطلع مكانه بوزيتيف من يرجع صوديوم وبايكربونات باو علي من قلنا صوديوم صوديوم والبايكربونات متعشقات من يرجع صوديوم وبايكربونات شو يطلع مكانها لازم صوديوم مكان مكانه شنو بوتاسيوم والبايكربونات مكانه شنو هيدروجين ار اكسكريتد ان بريفرنس العفو اي هيدروجين استغفر الله من يرجع صوديوم راح يطلع مكانه اثنين بوزيتيف تشارج بوزيتيف تشارج اللي هنا شنو انه بوتاسيوم وهيدروجين ايون يعني من يرجع بوزيتيف تشارج ري اكس ري ابزوربشن لازم يطلع مكانها لازم هاي قاعده اللي هو شنو هو يطلع بوتاسيوم وهيدروجين ايون ار اكسكريتد ان بريفرنس ذيس ريزلت ان ذا يورين بيكم بارادوكسيكالي اسيدك اند هايبوكاليميا انشو يعني اعيد لكم اياها مره ثانيه اسمعني بالبدايه احنا قلنا هو المريض فوميتنج اوف هايدروكلوريك اسيد فش يصير عنده يصير عنده الكالوسيز لانه ده يفقد اسيد يصير عنده الكالوسيز وهايبوكاليميا هايبوكاليميا يعني كلورايد قليل من يصير هذا هل هل شو اسمه هل هل الاسيد العفو الكالوسيز البادي رياكشن مالته شنو هو؟ البادي رياكشن على مود يقل يعدل البي اتش راح يطلع باليورين شنو؟ بايكربونيت على مود يقلل الاسيد الالكاليتي يطلع بايكربونيت الكالي على مود يقلل الالكالانايزيشن اوف ذا بلاد يطلع بايكربونيت والبايكربونيت من يطلع شو يطلع وياه قلنا؟ صوديوم من يظل يستمر هذا الى مرحله يصير مور ديهايدريشن البادي رياكشن مالته راح يشتغل الرنين انجيوتنسين راح بالعكس النوبه يرجع صوديوم على حساب طبعا شنو على حساب البايكربونيت يرجع صوديوم بس من يرجع صوديوم لازم يفرز بمكانه بوزيتيف تشارج اللي هو شنو هو اللي هو اتش وبوتاسيوم يبقى هالفتره طويله ذاك اليورين مع انه هو احنا بالبدايه قلنا شيء يطلع بايكربونيت فاذا ما طول عنده الكالوسيس اليورين المفروض شيء يصير؟ الكلاين بالبروفاوند ستيت افتر بروجريشن اوف ذيس كونديشن من يصير ذاك الوقت ري ابزوربشن اوف صوديوم واكسكريشن اوف بوتاسيوم اند هيدروجين ايون راح يصير اليورين هنا شنو قلنا؟ يطلع اتش اتش بدال بايكربونيت فشيء يصير؟ اسيدك فيصير بارادوكسيكال اسيد يورين اسيدك يورين بارادوكسيكال شنو بارادوكسيكال يعني عكس الطبيعي هو الطبيعي المفروض كل واحد الكالوزيز اليورين ما تجنو الكلاين كل واحد عنده اسيدوزيز شو يصير عنده اليورين اسيدك صح هنا ديو تو ديهايدريشن راح يصير عنده شغلتين عكس الطبيعي اللي هو يصير عنده بارادوكسيكال اسيد يورين وديو تو اكسسيف لوس اوف بوتاسيوم يصير عندهم هايبو كاليميا اوكي Management treating this patient involves correcting the metabolic abnormality and dealing with the mechanical problem. عندنا شغلتين نسوي correction لل mechanical abnormality و نسوي bypass لهال obstruction surgical correction. The patient should be rehydrated with intravenous isotonic saline اللي هو sodium chloride. أهم شيء عندنا عندنا نقص بالصوديوم ونقص بالكلورايد. بس أنطي أنا هذني يستعدل كل شيء. 
and with potassium supplementation لان احنا قلنا ساعدها بوكريميا replacement the sodium chloride and water allow the kidney to correct the acid base abnormality by itself following the hydration damation it may be become obvious that the patient also anemic due to poor intake the hemoglobin لانه بالبداية اول شيء كان dehydrated نشوف الهيموغلوبين عنده هيموكونستريشن بس نسوي هايدريشن زين آه نشوف انه الهيموغلوبين ما تنزل ديو تو آه 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 يعني هيموديليوشن صار عنده رجع مره ثانيه فنشوف ما الهيموغلوبين لو وي هاف تو ريبليس ذا بيشنت وذ بلاد ذا كوركشن اوف ذيس ابنورماليتي باي باي سيرجيكال كوركشن باي باي باسينج ذا اوبستراكشن وي دو جاسترو جيجونوستومي وي brought a, a, a loop of jejunum and we anastomosed with the stomach and if there is a suspicion of the uh, uh, suspicion of uh, 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 gastric cancer we have to take a biopsy طبعا before that we have to do we have to admit the patient we have to correct the metabolic abnormality we have to do a gastric lavage gas, yani gust gastric lavage in order to wash the stomach and prepare him for endoscopy before yani before surgery uh, endoscopic examination of the stomach will uh, uh, will will disclose that the uh, uh, the condition is malignant or benign any growth or mass within, within the pyloric canal should be biopsied to in order to exclude malignant obstruction rather than benign one and uh, and in cases of malignant obstruction is uh, surgical treatment is quite different from that of benign one uh, uh, malignant obstruction requires some sort of resection uh, of the stomach by partial or total gastrectomy while a benign obstruction only need some sort of bypass by we bypass the the uh, obstruction the obstructive area by uh, performing gastrojejunostomy as we said Here, <clears throat> last like last thing in our uh, subject, who well, gastric cancer. Uh, carcinoma of the stomach is a major cause of cancer mortality in the world. Uh, the prognosis tend to be poor, with a cure rate is little better than five to ten percent. Although better results are obtained in Japan, then I don't very common. I don't good experience with the uh, management of gastric cancer. I don't have many. ال 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 survey protocol in those patients where the disease is common. Gastric cancer is actually an eminently curable disease, provided that it is detected in an earlier stages of its development. It really disseminates widely before it involves the lymph node. So the first station of metastasis is the lymph node. Therefore, it there an opportunity to cure the disease prior to its dissemination. Early diagnosis is therefore the key to the success of the cure of this disease. Unfortunately, the late presentation of many cases is the cause of overall poor survival rate. So the, the key in the cure of this disease is the early presentation. However, most of the cases present in a late condition, in a late condition, because the silent symptoms of gastric cancer are so trivial and so Uh, so uh, simple in earlier stages. يعني كل شيء ما عنده المريض هو عنده gastric cancer بس كل شيء ما عنده. Symptoms of 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 cancer develop when the cancer become uh, 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 advanced. يعني نعم يا الله تبدي له. في earlier earlier in the disease process there is very little to be found in the history and examination. That's why the patient present with late disease and If the patient present earlier in the disease, there is a high chance of cure rate. The only treatment modality able to cure the disease is resectional surgery. Etiology: the gastric cancer is multifactorial disease. Epidemiological studies point to the role of H. pylori. We get here gastric cancer, which is carcinogen type one, yani grade one carcinogen. Although there is an argument about how important this factor is. But now, H. pylori is proved to be uh, the most important uh, etiological factor in the development of gastric cancer by making gastritis. With gastritis, can I say, it's possible to metaplasia and dysplasia followed by invasive cancer. 
the other uh, the other cause مثل ما قلنا is associated with gastritis, gastric atrophy and intestinal metaplasia followed by dysplasia. Several other risk factors has been identified as being an important in the etiology of gastric cancer. Patient with pernicious anemia وقلناها هذيك المرة اللي هو atrophic type A type A gastritis تذكروها بالمحاضرة الأولى type A gastritis اللي هي precancerous or pre-malignant condition in whom there is an element of pernicious anemia gastric atrophy with an increased risk of gastric cancer as those patients who develop gastric polyps patient who have a peptic ulcer surgery مثل ما قلنا ذكرون بال complication of peptic ulcer surgery اللي هو development of gastric cancer at the remnant Especially those had drainage procedures such as bilirubin one or polygastrectomy or gastroenterostomy or pyloroplasty. They are more vulnerable, vulnerable for uh, this development of risk. This risk. This is because, يعني إحنا من نسوي gastroenterostomy أو نسوي pyloroplasty, there will be more duodenogastric reflex. With duodenogastric reflex, مثل ما تعرفون be bile. Will bile sometimes cause chronic uh, biliary gastritis and Sometimes area of uh, of metaplasia occur uh, due to this gastritis, long-standing uh, gastritis. Carcinoma is also associated with cigarette smoking and dust ingestion of a vari variety of industrial processes. Diet appear to be unimportant, uh, uh, especially in those Japanese families. Uh, the high incidence of gastric cancer in some pockets in China, probably environmental and probably diet related. The ingestion, ingestion of substance such as spirit, those who drink alcohol, alcohol means spirits, not which is alcohol, which is the mushroom. No, it's spirits. May induce gastritis and long-term cancer. Uh, excessive salt ingestion and deficiency of antioxidants. Exposure to n nitroso compound is also one of the etiologies uh, uh, it is not associated with helicobacter, but associated with obesity and higher socioeconomic status. Genetic factors is, are also important, but imperfectly elucidated. Clinical features. The features of advanced gastric cancer are usually obvious. However, the curable gastric cancer has no specific features to distinguish it symptomatically from a benign dyspepsia. You go add this way, it's just add the dyspepsia. Or the or the other way, I feel so. So how am I going to achieve? So it's going to be a long time. I'm going to have a bad day, or a bad thing, or a bad ulcer, or a bad gastritis. It's just simple. But I don't know if it's an early gastric cancer. The key in improve to improve the outcome of gastric cancer is the early diagnosis. And the early diagnosis needs early endoscopy. Well, it's like in Japan. Success rate of uh, of treatment of gastric cancer depend depend on depend on a screening program. Most of the curable cases are picked up by liberal use of gastroscopy in patients with dyspepsia. In the West, much more difficult as the population incidence much lower. Hence, the cost of effectiveness of performing gastroscopy for mild dyspeptic symptom is uh, impractical. However, the high index of suspicion necessary and only endoscopy of those patients with symptoms of even trivial symptoms should be endoscopies in order to pick up earlier cases of gastric cancer. It is important to note that gastric antisecretory agent will improve, yani hatal proton pump inhibitors, will improve symptoms of those patients with gastric cancer. أو مبرازول يصير زين عليها هاي هاي المشكلة أنه من يصير زين عليها يقول هاي ما بيها شيء بناء فلذلك prohibited uh, endoscopy so endoscopy initial early endoscopy especially in elderly patient يعني هو كل واحد فوق ال 45 50 يبدي عنده symptoms of dyspepsia لا تقول له ماكو شيء وهاي ما عندك وما أدري شنو لا I will encourage him to perform early endoscopy in advance Advanced cancer, the early satiety and bloating, distension and vomiting may occur. The tumor frequently bleeds, resulting in iron deficiency anemia. Obstruction may lead to dysphagia if it is involved the gastroesophageal junction, or if it is involved the pyloric area, it will lead 
to vomiting. With the pyloric involvement, the presentation may be gastric outlet obstruction in the Mahachena, although the alkalosis is usually less profound. alkalosis alkalosis. patient with gastric cancer, a hypochlorhydri, يعني ما يصير فرزون أسيد هواية. فمن يصير ببومتينج ما راح يفرز هواية أسيد. فالألكالوزس عند سير شنو أقل. Or absent as compared patient with benign pyloric obstruction or gastric outlet obstruction. In the recent year, gastric outlet obstruction is more commonly associated with malignancy rather than a benign disease. مثل ما قلت في the previous slide. Non-metastatic effect of malignancy are seen particularly thrombophlebitis. It's a more, يعني non-metastatic high. One of the, يعني para, some more para neo, more para neoplastic syndrome. يعني features of non-metastatic of effect of gastric cancer. هو some more trousia sign. هو thrombophlebitis and deep venous thrombosis. They have a liability for thrombosis. These features result from the effect of the tumor on the thrombotic and hemostatic mechanisms. Site, the site of cancer. Proximal stomach is now the most common site for gastric cancer. Gable chan, the distal site, in the three pyloric area, most common. Hassela, Shaglan exit, and Sarl, proximal cancer, much more common. Because so many, many malignancies occur under gastroesophageal junction, and because the lower esophagus is the also very common site of adenocarcinoma. ما أريد أن أدوّقكم بها هاي السالفة أعرفوا أنه أكو بروكسيمال وأكو ديستال. Pathology: the most useful classification of gastric cancer is Lorene classification. In this system, there are principally two forms of gastric cancer. نقسم الجاستر كانسر إلى pathologically speaking into two forms: intestinal gastric cancer and diffuse gastric cancer. In the intestinal gastric cancer, the tumor resembles the carcinoma elsewhere in the GI tract and forms polypoidal tumors or ulcer. It's probably a right an area of intestinal metaplasia. In contrast, the diffuse gastric cancer infiltrate deeply into the stomach and then semi semi linitis plastica. Interpressed uh, infiltrate deeply into the stomach without forming an obvious malfeasin. نشوف الاستومك ما بيها ماس انسايد الاستومك ذاك اكو ماس فانجيتد ماس او ألسر بالميوكوزا هنا أنا ما اكو ألسر ولا اكو ماس بس الكانسر انفلتريشن انتو ذا جاستريك وول نوت سربرايزنج ذيس ماتش مور وورس بروجنوزيز مثل ما واضح يعني a small proportion of gastric cancer has a mixed pathology of intestinal type and diffuse type gastric cancer can be classified into an early gastric cancer and advanced gastric cancer. Early gastric cancer is defined as cancer limited to the mucosa and submucosa with, with or without lymph node involvement. Yani, the cancer بعد بين mucosa and submucosa does not invade the muscularis properly. This can be either protruding, superficial, excavated in the Japanese classification. This type of cancer is amenable, eminably, eminently curable. And even early gastric cancer associated with lymph node involvement, high of half year, five year survival in the region of 90%. يعني هنا شنو ال key element to cure, the possible cure, هو شنو هو invasion of the muscularis propria. Once the cancer is limited to the mucosa and submucosa, with or without lymph node involvement, is usually potentially curable. But once the cancer invades the muscularis propria. The, pay, the, the prognosis is very bad, and the hope of a cure is very low. The Lorene classification, the Japanese classification, which is type 1, excavated, and this is the the cancer invade the mucosa, high mucosa, sub mucosa, and high muscular property. This the cancer. See the cancer? Gastric cancer is less common in the United Kingdom. Dyspepsic patients are not always referred to the endoscopy at the time of appropriate stage. Uh, the uh, staging system, the International Union Against Cancer staging system is adopted. The important changes have been made in the seventh edition of TNM. Our function TNM is tumor, lymph node, and metastasis. Uh, an attempt to reflect the current evidence based upon the improved prediction of, of individual patients, all gastric tumors whose 
epicenter within the five centimeter of the gutter's radial junction and extend to the uh, esophagus are now classified according to the esophageal system. Yeah, and in, in, in cancer, in the whole in the stomach, within five centimeter of the esophagus, has more a esophageal cancer. The treatment part here, you should be having esophageal cancer. ما نريد ندخل بالتفاصيل بس لازم تعرفون انه تي ان ام كلاسيفيكيشن هو اليوز فور ستيجينج اوف جاستريك كانسر ما نريدكم تدخلون بها يعني التفاصيل هاي مال بوست جراجويت الحقيقه نجي على السبريد هذا هنا مهم شويه السبريد اوف كارسينوم نو بيتر اكزامبل اوف فيريس مود اوف سبريد تو ويتش كارسينوما سبريد is better than gastric cancer or gastric cancer. It is important to note that distant separate is unusual before the disease separate locally. And it may say distant separate is a massive local invasion. And mid-distant metastases are uncommon in the absence of lymph node metastases. The intestinal and diffuse type of gastric cancer separate differently. The diffuse type of separate, the diffuse types separates via the submucosal and subserosal lymphatic plexus and penetrate the gastric wall and an early stage. And the fourth mode of spread. Yeah, direct spread. Mu yamma. How? Mumkin and direct spread. The tumor penetrate the muscularis serosa and ultimately invade the adjacent organ, the pancreas, colon, and liver. The lymphatic spread by both permeation and embolization, which affect the lymph node tires around the stomach. This may be extensive and the tumor even appearing in the supraclavicular lymph node. Elihu was some of the trousier signs. Trousiers, trousier sign. That comes with trousiers. Elihu was thromboangitis, thrombophlebitis. And another trousier sign. Elihu was left supraclavicular lymph node involvement by gastric cancer. Unlike malignancies such as the breast cancer, Nodal involvement does not imply systemic limit. يعني مو مثل البرست. البرست بس يشوف axillary lymph node معناها ال tumor usually disseminated beyond this lymph node tires. But in gastric cancer, حتى ذا lymph lymph node involved, it did not necessarily disseminated to other organ. ولذلك إن early gastric cancer أنه نعتمد على شنو the thickness of the gastric wall involved. Mucosa sub mucosa with or without lymph node involvement. Yeah, the lymph node does not does not affect the disease curability. The مهم عندنا شنو هو the muscularis propria does not be has not been depressed. The muscularis propria أهم شيء هذا. The other type of mode of metastasis is blood born. Usually to the liver, and all the stomach is drained by the portal venous system, and most of the cancer occur in the liver. Transperitoneal spread. This is common mode of spread. Once the tumor reached the serosa of the stomach, and it indicate incurability. But imagine when when you have the muscularis propria or reach the serosa, meaning it indicate incurability. Tumors can be man can manifest anywhere in the peritoneal cavity and commonly give rise to an ascites, malignant ascites. Or sometimes uh, uh, transgenomic spread to the ovaries, like what we call Krukenberg tumors, or to the uh, 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 pelvis, to the umbilicus, and send me Sister Joseph nodule, or to the uh, to the uh, 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 posterior rectum, send me rectal shelf, rectal shelf. Yani high modes of transperitoneal or transgenomic spread to the ovaries, Krukenberg. Or to the general peritoneal cavity, so we add ascites. Or to the uh, to the uh, umbilicus, how many are nodules of uh, metastasized lymph metastasized uh, gastric cancer to the umbilicus is a more sister Joseph nodule. Or to the rectum, so recto recto uh, recto vesical pouch, when has a rectum posterior part is a more rectal shelf, rectal shelf. Operability treatment. By surgery, any type of gastrectomy should be uh, arranged in those patients in a potentially curable gastric cancer by total, partial, or subtotal gastrectomy. Uh, neoadjuvant chemotherapy uh, uh, are designed to treat either uh, uh, as uh, usually planned as either new adjuvants in here in those patients. Who have a curable, uh, uh, eminently curable disease, or 
therapeutic in those patients who have advanced gastric cancer. The other disease, اللي هو acute gastric dilatation ممكن تشوفوه بالرد هي هو this condition usually occur in association with a pyloroduodenal disorder or post surgery without nasal gastric section. ونشوفه همينا بالسبلينكتومي إذا أخذتوا سبلين. After سبلينكتومي one of the one of the uh, complication of septinectomy is so acute gastric dilatation. The stomach may be atonic, dilate enormously. Often the patient also dehydrated had, uh, had, and has an electrolyte disturbance. Failure to treat this condition it results in sudden massive vomiting with aspiration into the lung. The treatment is by putting a nasogastric tube with a large bore tube. I mean, we choose a large bore tube and Together, because of dehydration, we have to uh, to do fluid replacement and the treatment of the underlying condition. Thank you very much, Shabab. خلصنا الاستماك سبوع جاي راح نأخذ ال الأسفجس نبدأ بالأسفجس. أكو سؤال. سؤال أكو. لا دكتور شكرا شكرا لك